Goldsmith alongside Angie Mentink with Marco Gonzalez up on the mound. We've got a new Saturday night feel with the Northwest Greens on a Saturday night. Still a few weeks away. And they're hoping to have him back as soon as possible. Soft ground ball. J.P. Crawford has it. A short, quick release for out number one. Very good night for Marco. Always trying to work the edges. This is sliced out to Teoscar Hernandez. Is that sunshine I see? Two outs. I believe you do. I'm a little more worried about him leaving the yard. Like he did last night. Rolls over this to Wong. France pedals to the bag. And a very quick and tidy one, two, three, top of the first for Marco Gonzalez. One, you're going to get the same pitch he did. He just missed it. Swing and a miss for strike three. Breaking ball gets Julio, and France strikes out his first hitter in the big leagues, and a pretty good one. Two to three miles per hour, and we've seen him already touching 94 and 95 today. France off France. Doesn't even give us time to set it up. Ty finds a knock in center field. French actually did at one point play for the Mariners. So there's a connection there, too. Jared is skipping around after he gets plunked by a slider. And the Mariners stack a couple of base runners. To throw in different counts. Check swing. He takes off the plate. He does not go around. The Mariners have him loaded up. A single, a hit batter, and now a walk. Mariners trying to jump on the board here in the first inning. Swings and misses at a heater up out of the zone. A couple of strikeouts for France. Here's the payoff. Strike three called 95 at the knees. And J.P. France in his first big league inning wiggles off the hook and leaves him loaded. A few weeks away, but it seems like he's ahead of schedule if he's swinging a bat today. Lead off walk, not what Marco wanted. I gave it to my six year old daughter. And <laughs> Good play by Marco. JP's got it all kinds of time over to first base. Lead off walk erased and a double play. It's against Marco, but two of them did not come back. A wave and a miss. Chasing over a foot off the plate. That nasty changeup from Marco Gonzalez. He racks up his first strikeout tonight. Great this year for J.P. Crawford. Well above league average, one of the tops in baseball. In fact, he rolls over this and easy out. A changeup. We see a lot of it below the zone with him. Wave and a miss. A slider gets a chase from Murphy. Two up and two down. That's the fourth strikeout already. Two outs to two two. Hensley at first base tonight. He patrols for the bag himself. Much different second inning for France, although the same result. He retires the side in order. Playing in only his 18th career game. To Crawford. A little bit of a late jump on him. And France handles that on the other end. Nice on both ends. Lead off man sat down. They are against righties, so he, it's just tough all the way through for Marco, and he's just doing a spectacular job. Swing and a miss at the top of the zone. He's got two balls and two strikes on Myers. Check swing. And he goes. Myers strikes out to end the top of the third. Three punch out for Marco Gonzalez, who has faced the minimum over three innings. On the ground, over to Pena. Young shortstop gathers and makes the throw in time. For out number one. And they, they actually can sing a little bit too. France serves this the opposite way. He's got a multi hit night. You don't need to see the smile on my face. You know it's there. 3 2 to Kelly. The opposite way hit firm, but it's caught by Bregman. That's a tough out. That's a great at bat by Jared Kelnick, and I know it's not what he wanted as far as the outcome goals, but this is exactly what he needs to do in this situation. Suarez a ride out towards right center field. Tucker 
Wants it, and he flags it down for round number three. France's single is stranded. France, as in JP, has spun three scoreless. The 0 2. This finds left field. Dubon rounding first, but gets back to the bag. It's a leadoff single. Gale. I mean, nearly double. Soft fly ball out towards left center field. Kelnick and Julio get in near, and mm. Kelnick makes the catch. Now his head is so still, he doesn't have a big load. And when you're as big and as strong as he is, all you have to do is square that ball up and, and it's going to leave the yard. Juan. They walked him. Bases are loaded up in front of a dangerous hitter in Kyle Tucker. Tough task here with Tucker at the plate. Tucker. Scalds this to right field. Teoscar makes the catch. Here comes Dubon. The throw is on its way. It's cut by France. And the Astros score the game's first run. Sack fly by Kyle Tucker. It's 1-0 Houston. Throw, but he's just too deep to be able to throw out Dubon. He's got pretty good speed at third. Payne, and meanwhile, towards the gap. It drops in for a base hit. Alvarez rounds third base. He scores standing. Jeremy Pena tacks out of the Astros' lead. An RBI single, it's 2 nothing Houston. Tight to the line, fair ball. Gino's got it, long toss over to first base and plenty of time to retire the side. The Astros strand two, but they get two and they lead it after three and a half. We've seen him really living at 94-95 with that pitch. Hensley far off the back. France is able to reach back. Grab it and pour down number one. Injured in spring training with an elbow. Teoscar Alvarez finds this on the warning track for out number two. Hensley at first base has it for a one, two, three, fourth inning. It off for the Astros here in the fifth. Right in line with J.P. Crawford. Routine play for the Mariners shortstop. Leadoff man sat down. Hands being whipped as if they were horses. Um, a, uh, a coffee table may have been harmed in the derby running. They pulls this down the line. It's a fair ball. No. A foul ball. No, it bounces ground over. Double, it's yeah. a ground rule double. So Myers stands up at second base. Marcos 3 2. Ground ball. Wong is able to smother it. Has no throw. He's able to keep that from going into the outfield and saves a run in the process. Myers has to stay anchored at third as Wong is slow to get up on two feet. Good spot right there by Marco. One of the league's most dangerous hitters at the plate with two outs. Two on. The 1 2. Laced the opposite way for a base hit. Myers is in this, rolls all the way to the base of the wall. Dubon hits third base. He's coming home. Crawford's throw home to the plate. Murphy in time. Tag up line. And he is out at the plate. I think they're saying that Tom Murphy blocked the Whoa. plate. No, you've got to go catch the ball. Left field, it's down the line. There's just, it's impossible. After review, the ruling down the field is overturned. The runner is out. Seattle will retain their challenge. And justice prevails. Very well executed by the Mariners. All right, we'll take it. Murphy laces this into left field. Fair ball into the corner. Extra base is Tom Murphy. He chugs it to second base with a leadoff double. This is so impressive. Hmm. Down on three pitches. And I'm wondering if, if something isn't bothering him. We saw him kind of. 1-0 to Julio. 
Hit hard, and Pena almost has his glove come off. Throws wildly past second base. Murphy is able to motor into third. Way to move the runner. <laughs> uh, Julio is uh, still as a statue and uh, talking some smack out there in a playful way out there to Pena. It's an error on Pena. Who won the gold glove last year. Alvarez and Pena racing over foul ground. Alvarez is reaching over and he makes the catch. Last night it was Tucker in right field and tonight Alvarez in left. Finds the fence and reaches over into it. He froze him, strike three call. Line, Caballero, the new man. Of Rest. course it finds you. <laughs> the baseball gods, don't they have such a great sense of humor? JP, some more days off. Caballero gives you that luxury. Pena into left field. He drops that in for a base hit. It's off of Kalnick's glove. Pena gets into second, and now he's going for third. Here's the throw. Gino the tag, and he is safe. Do is just uh, it's the danger in, in trying to cut your angle in the outfield like that. Julio picking up speed to the warning track in front of the wall makes the catch and the error does no harm. Diaz flies to center. Repeatable uh, and it's just really really fun to, to see what he's been able to do. I mean he's having his ups and downs throughout the course of this season, but you. Curveball slows it down. A couple of strikeouts for Maton out of the gate. Out to right field, a little too much top spin brings it down, but it does drop in for a base hit. Thought Tucker might be able to get there. Cal Raleigh finds a single in right field. With plenty of time left. Bregman charges at third base, and instead, a ground ball out. To retire the side. Cal Raleigh's single left stranded. Mariners being shut out after six innings. Just one run of support for Marco over his last four starts against Houston. Our Beacon Plumbing call to the pin. Congratulations. Juan 10 is up on the mound for the Mariners. The third Mariner to make his big league debut this year. Just recently turned 23 years old out of the Dominican Republic. And his first pitch is called a strike. Are we going to throw that one out? No? Yes? No? I guess not. Let's pay attention to where this ball yeah, goes. Yeah, maybe they're very confident of the final destination here. Oh, Ted waits for it. He runs halfway. <laughs> and on two pitches, he records his first out of the big leagues. I am so frustrated that this ball is still in play. There, there JP. we go, JP. See? Oh, captain, my captain. Thank you, JP. Now I'm beginning to rely on that more. This is right there to Crawford who makes the catch a soft line drive round number two Standing in the big leagues Right back up the middle Caballero <laughs> got, got it for round number three One ten congratulations your first inning of the show is a one two three seventh against the reigning champs Now some way finding a way to get on base led the Mariners with 22 walks Make it 24 after his first inning. That one's so good. I think that. it should count for two inch. <laughs> <laughs> one in, and it's hard to string three hits together, but uh, let's see if the Mariners can get something going. Oh, a little parachute drop drops in for Tom Murphy. All of a sudden, the Mariners will bring the tie and run to the plate for tonight. Swing and a miss for strike three. Fastball on the outer edge. Cambiero is down on strikes and brings up Julio. Table is set for Julio here in the seventh. Chopper to Bregman at third. Down to second. Dubon on to first. It's in time for the double play. It was all set up.
but two for one, and the Astros get out of it. Sacedo is up on the mound for the second straight game. It's a nice luxury for Scott to have. Actually, have two lefties down in the bullpen. Spire's been, you know, party of one out there for <laughs> much of the season. After Bregman. Bregman skims this out to Crawford. One pitch, one away. About as calm as, as you see out on the mound. Hey, docks him up on the corner at 93. <laughs> Nothing faces it. Just as cool as they come. Abreu digs back in. Jeez. Strike three, call. Nice job. Sacedo carves through Bregman, Alvarez, and Abreu. But not long after being DFA'd, he's a lucrative reliever now. It's Pena. Good play on the grass, and France is retired. The Mariners were having every one of them was come from behind wins. Boy, what did that pitch look like to Kelnick for him yeah. to jackknife like that? There is out number two. We've seen them struggle to get going against starters, and then all of a sudden they're lighting up the starter, but they can't get anything going against the bullpen. As Gino works a walk here, and then you know we've seen fits where they just can't get anything against the starter, and then they're you know letting to roll over, which Rafael has had uh, hitters do. Little tapper, and it's under Geef Montero's glove, a collision, and everybody's safe. Speaking of uh, the changeup. <laughs> Another one, two. Ground ball. Pena snares it, throws to Bregman, and it gets away. Everybody's safe. And the Mariner version of Montero continues. <laughs> Montero's thinking, what is it about this place? Two out spaces loaded. The 3 1. Line drive, base hit, J.P. Crawford. Suarez scores. Cal Raleigh's coming home. It's all the way to the fence. Teoscar pedal into the plate. J.P. Crawford, line it up. It's tied in the eighth inning. Mariners baseball. The 3-1. Oh, he gets a call. Yeah, Diaz is saying that was on the corner. Uh, Trammell catches a break. Two outs, two on. The 1 0. Swing. Line drive. It is a base hit to the gap. Here comes Crawford. Trammell is on his way home. Jose Caballero. Five three in the eighth inning. Laced, right center, base hit, Caballero wheels home, Julio, he makes this a 6-3 Mariners lead. France gets jammed, a little beanbag, and it drops in for a base hit, Julio pedaling fast. Laced over the glove of Dubon. Another run in. Jerry Kelnick smokes a single. It's a 7 3 Mariners lead. Keeps the hands inside the ball, keeps the barrel moving forward, and allows it to continue to right. Gino over to third. They go the short way and they get the force on Kelnick. Well, about 25 minutes ago, the Mariners are down 3 0. It's a 7 3 Mariners lead going to the ninth.
Paul Seawald comes on. It is not a safe situation, but Scott's not taking any chances. He will work the ninth. Yeah, and he was warm. Uh, he got him up when it looked like the Mariners might be able to tie yeah. this game. <laughs> yeah, that was like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, he was up when it was 3 nothing. You're right. Yep. But when you're a guy like Paul Seawald, you want your catcher to snap it down. Caballero can't get to it. It's underneath his grasp. Tucker, a leadoff single. He'll be making his T-Mobile Park debut. Pena leans into this down the line. It's fair and a base hit into the corner. Tucker moves into third. Pena with a double. Now the Astros making some noise right away. Two batters into the ninth inning. Player of the year. He had a 306 average, pretty good average. And he's got some pop. Soft fly ball, no man's land trouble. Julio! No fly zone! That's what closing speed looks like. A great jump as he signals to the no fly zone and everybody goes crazy in right center field. Strike three call! <laughs> in left field, Kalnick racing after it. It's a fair ball into the corner. Tucker is in, Pena. He scores as well. Two run, two out, double Jake Myers. Making this a little closer than the Mariners would like. It's a 7-5 lead in the ninth inning. And the lineup card turns over. You know how closers are. They just want to make it a save situation, right? Perez is three batters away. Strike one. Strike two. Great location on both of those pitches. First. He struck him out! And the ball game is over! One of the most exhilarating and exhausting wins of the season for the Mariners. They square the series even. A 7-5 win over the Astros.